Hey, I'm Ed McGrogan with Tennis.com here with Pete Photo recapping day three at the U.S. Open. Uh, first round comes to an end today as Rafael Nadal comes on court. Uh, doesn't have too much trouble with Richard Gasquet. What do you see in that match? Well, you know, it's encouraging for Nadal. What I really liked about Nadal today, you know, it was a routine win, I guess. But what I liked that he came out and he really, he looked like he was happy out there. If you saw the post-match little interview there, he was, you know, kind of kind of really, really loving it. The crowd was giving him a big hand. So it looks like he's psychologically in great shape for the Open. Hopefully, physically, he will be too. One of the guys uh, in his last U.S. Open, Brad Saffin, he didn't fare as well today. No, you know, Saffin, it's his last Grand Slam match, allegedly. And, you know, these guys swear to retire, then some of them decide to unretire. We'll see what that brings for, for Murat. I have a feeling he'll probably call it quits for good because he's the kind of a guy who likes to do a lot of different things. But he went out desultory fashion. He admitted after the match that, you know, he hadn't had that feeling. He didn't, he didn't get that, you know, sort of emotional high of being on a farewell tour or anything. So I think it's probably good to buy Murat in Grand Slam competition. And uh, speaking, of under, speaking of retirements and unretirements on the women's side, Kim Kleister's came back, escaped the three setter with Marion Bartoli. Uh, as well on the women's side, Venus Williams progressed pretty easily, come back from a tough first rounder. What did you see with those? Though? Well, you know, it's good to see Venus back in form after that tough first rounder. It looks like her knee maybe isn't as, as bad as some people feared. That's a good thing. And it was a good thing that, that Bartoli pushed Kleister's because it's a little bit embarrassing for Kleister's to just come back. Uh, for the WTA to see Kleister's just come back, cakewalk to semis or even finals, who knows. And so, you know, for her to be pushed by a quality player like Bartoli, but not a superstar, you know, that's, uh, I think that, that was a good encouraging sign for the women. Definitely. That wraps up the first round. Uh, day three, coming to an end here. Thanks for watching. Tennis.com. I'm your girl with people.